How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I'm going to whip this around. So you can see me. It took me, I don't know, an hour to get this thing set up because despite what they say on the internet, you cannot set it up using your iPad Air 2. So I had to do it manually. And God, what a pain this was. But there's Don't Hate Me by the Jingle Punks. So... My Apple TV is hooked up. It can't do much but play music and get YouTube videos. And uh, right now, because uh, DirecTV is not hooked up to the net, but I just wanted to let you know that it's working. And I guess I can get out of this, but I'm a little afraid to. So, uh, but there's a song playing in the background. And uh, at least I got that going. And there's the Apple TV all hooked up with the remote. There's the little manual. Siri talks. I tried putting, I had to put the settings in manually and for my internet and everything else. But everything works. And uh, now we'll see how long it takes DirecTV now to hook up DirecTV now to my television. They said they're working on it. But there it is, my Apple TV, it's working. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. They do have a neat thing. They take uh, photographs and videos from around the world and will send it to your Apple TV. And I'll add that uh, little video to the um, screen. It looks kind of cool. Well, it looks much better on my TV than it does on my iPad. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. I'm going down to feed the cats. It's finally stopped raining. And uh, be safe and dry out there. Fluffy came in twice like a drowned rat. He loves to go out, silly kitty. Okay, bye-bye for now. Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. It's much prettier on my screen. But this is a display of the Apple TV. And I'm not, still not sure what the hell to do with this. Um, but I have managed to pair my iPad with my Mac. Oh. All right, we're going to try this, and I'll get back to you. I'm not sure how to do this yet. Bye-bye. Hello, this is George Senda again, and I'm going to add this to the two other videos in this video. And this is by way of an experiment to see what happens. And someone commented on, you can't pay your internet bill, and you, you bought an Apple TV. Well, some guys, I guess they don't watch all my videos, and they don't pay attention. And um, I said that I used my credit card signed up for DirecTV now for three months and they gave me the Apple TV for free which would normally cost $150 plus tax and they paid for the shipping via FedEx so in a sense that's $105 the Apple TV is 150 so were I to go out and save up for this for months I would have had to pay forty-five more dollars, so I saved forty-five dollars on the Apple TV, not counting the sales tax if I bought at the Apple Store or bought a used one on Amazon. I don't like buying used when it comes to this stuff. All right, that's that's it. So that's why I did it. And oh, let me flip this around. This is the pretty picture you get. Let me. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty of the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge and I really like that on my screen uh, there's except for Pittsburgh of course the greatest view in the world is probably the San Francisco skyline so uh, that's really neat alright this is George Senda the guy from Pittsburgh and I am gonna go feed the kitties and go watch some television so have a great morning Stay safe and dry out there, and I'll be back in the morning. Bye-bye for now.